Eight tips on how to grow your business with a Facebook Messenger bot coming up. Hi, I'm JB with Marketing 360, and we help small businesses grow with our marketing and design talent technology through our number one marketing platform, Marketing 360. We call marketing and design mad, and we love mad. And hopefully these videos will help you fall in love with mad too. So make sure to follow us to learn tips, tricks, and strategies to grow your business and fuel your brand. So why use a Facebook Messenger bot for your business these days? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's another communication channel that you need to take advantage of today, or you'll be missing out on market share from competitors that are taking advantage of this marketing uh, communication channel. So in the old days, you know, communication channels were just phone and email. It eventually evolved to text in some cases, and now it's moved on to social media with direct messaging, Facebook Messenger, and those sorts of things. So if your business is not expanding, to where you can communicate with your customers in the methods and the ways that they prefer and that they communicate, you're gonna to start to lose some market share. So how do you do that efficiently these days? Well, it's Facebook Messenger Bot when it comes to Facebook. So there's billions of users on Facebook. A recent uh, quote I saw the other day from Sprout Sh Social said that there are two billion messages going back and forth between businesses and consumers on Facebook Messenger Bot uh, per month, which is mind blowing. And the types of things that people want through Facebook Messenger Bot are things that you can automate. They're just simple questions about customer service, maybe simple questions about your product. There's also a stat that showed over 50% of people don't even shop with a store unless they have a Facebook Messenger presence and they're responding through Facebook Messenger. And so if you're not doing these things, you're gonna be missing out on more and more market shares We move into the future where the younger demographic of consumers are doing all of their communication through social media. So how are you efficient with this? You do it through automation, you do it through bots. You don't wanna have just multitudes of people sitting there waiting for messages, responding with the same answer a billion different times because your consumers are gonna ask consistent questions over and over, they're the same sorts of questions. There's no reason why you can't automate this, give them the answer that they want quickly so they're happy and move that sale forward. So I'm gonna break down eight tips on how you can take advantage of Facebook Messenger and use bots to leverage that to grow your business. Tip number one is to understand the questions that your customers might potentially be asking. You probably kind of have a good idea what this already is. And if you're not sure, I would even encourage you to use Facebook Messenger for a week or so. Try to engage in conversation and see what those questions are. But ask your sales team, ask your customer service team, what are the consistent questions that you have and how do you tee that up? I just want you to write those down. Write down those commonly asked questions. Maybe there's five, maybe there's 10, maybe there's 20. Write those down because that's where it starts. Tip number two is to map out your content based on those questions. Try to put them into category buckets. You know, typically there'll be a question that leads to a question that leads to a question or a question that leads to an answer, that kind of a thing. Try to map this out. Generally keep it very limited at the highest level. So what I'm saying here is when you send that first messenger bot response, don't hit the user with 20 different answers, 20 different questions, that kind of a thing. Simplify it. So an example of that is when somebody engages through Facebook Messenger, keep it very high level, such as this. Do you have a question that you have regarding customer service or are you interested in a product? We can answer a question about a new product, something like that. Or are you having an issue with the product that you've pre previously purchased? Or are you interested in answering some questions about a product that you're interested in purchasing? Try to like get them into a general, real high level funnel so that you can then follow up with additional questions. So if somebody said they had an issue with a product or a service that you have, the next question could be something like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What type of issue did you have? A, B, C, that kind of a thing, where you can kind of lead them down the funnel to get them where they need to go so that you can properly take care of them as uh, customer service wise. Same idea when it comes to sales, ask those types of questions and lead them down a path to either generate a lead for your company so that you can reach out to them and, and contact them to make a sale and or maybe you have online products that you're selling and you can funnel them right down to the very perfect product that answers all of their questions and gives them what they need so they can buy online. Tip number three with Facebook Messenger bot, you can typically set up a call to action button. It stands out better, it just looks better. So you can ask a question within the Messenger bot or answer a question within the Messenger bot and you can give them a couple different options on where to go next and you can make it look like a nice little button in there so they can quickly identify that there's an action that they can take 
to get where they need to go so that they can move down the path. So take advantage of those call to action buttons. But really the tip here is don't give them more than three really at one time. Try to keep it within two or three, that's best. When you start to give them more than that, it's almost like too many options and it creates confusion. So try to keep your uh, mapping of your content so that it's only giving people two or three options as you move them down the path, not a hundred in one shot or that's not gonna be effective. Tip number four is to craft the personality of your responses. So once you map everything out and you have your funnels kind of organized in terms of how you want the messenger bot to work and funnel people to the right place, start writing the content. How do you write those questions? How do you spin it? How do you put some personality in there? Something that fits your brand, something that's fun is usually pretty effective. You can even insert personalization in these messages where you can really target them by name since they're on Facebook, Facebook knows who they are. They can put their name into these messages like, oh, hey, Bob, glad to see that you're back here. Hey, I was just wondering this, you know, and you can work that into the Facebook Messenger so it's a personal experience but also fits the tone of your brand. Tip number five is once you've mapped all this out and you build it out in a Facebook Messenger bot and start running it, make some fine tuning as you go. Look at it, test it, put some customers through it, put some of your team through it, make sure that it's fluid and it works well. If it is, let that run for about a month. See how effective it is. Make some more changes, tweak it, fine tune it. If you really like where it is and you get it to a point where it's super solid, Think about maybe adding this onto your website. You can also add messenger bots onto your website that also take visitors of your website through these same sorts of journeys. That could be a power tip for you down the road. Tip number six is with Facebook Messenger Bot, you have an option to add things in there to engage in a live conversation with a live service rep or a live salesperson. And this can be effective because maybe somebody just really feels like they need to talk to somebody in real time back and forth. They wanna live outside of the bot. You wanna give them that option. And so have somebody in your company that's in charge of those messages. Have them put the Facebook Messenger app on their phone so they get alerted and they can engage in conversations in real time with people as needed. But if you build your automated bot out correctly, this should be fairly limited. That way those folks aren't completely immersed in that all day. They just engage as needed when needed. Tip number seven is to use Facebook Messenger ads once you have this set up. Facebook Messenger ads are very powerful if used in the right way. And the way that you can use those is you can build audience lists through Facebook, just like you can with any Facebook ad campaign that allows you to target the right people. So I can target men or women or people based on interests, or even better, I can build audiences on Facebook based on pages they visited on my website. So an example of that is maybe somebody comes to my online store, they click around the store, I see that they end up on a product page and they end up leaving the site without purchasing. If I have my tracking set up properly, I can build an audience list on folks that ended up on that particular product page, which then can build an audience in Facebook. Now I have that audience and maybe there's a hundred, a thousand people in there. I can send them a Facebook Messenger ad that sends them a, a message through Facebook Messenger that says something like, hey, I saw you looked at this product, you didn't end up purchasing. I didn't know if you knew this, but we have a coupon today that's available to you for 50% off if you click here and when they, or maybe they can click even to message you. And when they go into message you, you could build an automated Autobot journey on that specifically. So then you could even say something like, hey, what do you like best about this product? What questions do you have on this product? Is it gonna fit my kid? Is it gonna, what questions do they typically ask? You can add those in there so that maybe the people see the coupon code and instantly go buy it, great. Maybe some people are interested enough to engage in a conversation, but they just need these boxes checked, these questions answered before they convert. By adding implement implementations in place like this and automa automations like this in place, whether it's a service-based business or an e-commerce store, you can start to see how this would really generate a lot of sales. What happens is you'll start to see a lowering of your cost per lead over time. Studies show that people using Facebook Messenger bots properly and have a good presence on social media, can see up to a 400% decrease in the cost per lead or cost per sale. And it's just because you're re-engaging with folks that maybe didn't move forward with a sale and you're following up with them and you're messaging them and you're answering the questions that they had. Ultimately, when somebody doesn't move forward, there was a concern they had, a question that wasn't maybe fully answered. If you can answer those in an automated way through a Facebook Messenger bot, you get those sales and you don't miss out. Tip number eight, last tip, is for all of this to make sense and work, you need a Facebook presence to begin with. You need to have followers, you need to have people engaging with you. 
people that you can actually even message in the first place. So if you don't have a presence on social media, that's the first problem you need to correct. You need to make sure that you're investing the time and the efforts into building your presence on social media because that's where the demographic of folks is these days. They're on social media. Start with Facebook, really nail that down, build the Facebook Messenger auto bot and start expanding into other social platforms after that. If you need help with uh, social media marketing, uh, social media management, or some of this Facebook auto messenger chat bot stuff that we're talking about here, we'd love to help. Definitely give us a call, Marketing360. Leave a comment if you have questions that we didn't answer here today. Maybe if you want more examples, and we'll leave those in the description of this video as well. Some examples of some flow charts, whether you're a customer service business or an e-commerce business or a lead generation business, so that you can visually see some of these flows and how these things could work and start getting ideas for your business. And if you have any other ideas, leave those in the comments. Like the video, share it uh, with somebody that might see value in this, and happy marketing.